You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. Here we go. <laughs> Why? Who the fuck knows? Welcome to our Amish podcast. <laughs> near, 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 near. <laughs> can you okay. play the guitar? Wait, can I'm we do an a cappella version of the theme? Go ahead. That's our theme. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. A I think we're going to change the theme to that. Meow, 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 meow. I fucking hate that commercial. It makes me want to kill cats. You don't like pussy? Hey. Near, near, near. All right. So, anyway, hi, guys. What's up? Um, <laughs> we're sitting here with <laughs> Jeff has no sound effects. <laughs> he has no laptop. Some people might like this podcast better. Yeah, we're sitting little. we're sitting in Jeff's um apartment cave. Which um I, I've never pile. I've never seen it before. And I have to tell you, it, it is extremely clean. Oh fuck. Mm-hmm. It's really spacious. You know what I like? I pictured something completely different. I enjoy the stone walls. This is the first time the lights have been on. I, <laughs> I pictured a studio. <laughs> he, he lives in it. He has and a your bed obstructed by a pile of clothing. <laughs> yeah, you, for, uh, for a, a dude. I'm a son of a garbage man. If things weren't in their place when I was a kid, I had the shit beaten out of me. So I learned. So. You I, pictured, good. I pictured Dante's apartment from Clark's. I'll tell you why Sleeping one... Sleeping in the pile of clothes. Yes. Like rolling out of the... I pictured a one room, like just like a I'm, studio. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to do this. Oh, no. Uh-oh. What What's he doing? doing? Uh, oh, put he's on. putting sunglasses Seriously, on. Seriously, these lights are killing me. Because we turn like the lights them. on. Uh, I need light. They're horrible for your complexion. They are. Know. We all look disgusting right now. <laughs> I have, uh, except me. <laughs> we weren't supposed noticed. to do this today. I, I just had the last show on my tour last night, and I'm dead. So and We're going to talk about that, because I I blame there. your fucking Superman for this. Yeah. Booyah. I can How go off dare on a he? rant. Rant time. Okay, so I would have my computer. I would have my sound effects and my music if it wasn't for fucking Superman and his fucking surprise date for you. Surprise. But no, we had to change plans at the last minute. He and you have to wake up, Jeff, on the night af- on the day after your big fucking show at the Gramercy in front of thousands of people. I was there. Thousands yeah, and thousands. Was, I'm mad at Superman, not you. Well, I came to support you last night, and yeah. the story is. I love you for that. For the audience. The story is this. We were supposed to podcast tomorrow, and this is my return to Why You Suck in Bed, because, you know, we let these three and Barney <laughs> do their own thing the last yeah. few shows. Which turned out really well. It did. Yeah, and yeah, then bye. the last taping had to get canceled because I got the flu. So, then I'm still coughing. It's probably bronchitis, or I'm dying. It's long yeah, AIDS. It's- the boyfriend felt bad because I've been sick, etc. And he surprised me with a date <gasps> to take place tomorrow where he purchased tickets to see B.B. King. Mm, you're going to get stalked now. <laughs> oh, wait. This is going to air after that. Yeah. <laughs> so. Hope it was a good time. I had to cancel and try to reschedule today, which that's the reason we don't have a laptop because it was supposed to be fixed by tomorrow. Jeff's tired because he rocked out last night. Uh, Molly and John had nothing else going on, so they're fine. We're just losers. <laughs> <laughs> but Je- but apparently Jeff has some beef with Superman. Oh, fuck yeah, I got beef. <laughs> I could be taking a shit right now. Mm. You could always be taking a shit. So <laughs> Into your open pipe that used to be a toilet. <laughs> I got a big IHOP shit brewing. Ew. Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> What song do you want me to add in post to welcome you back? <laughs> I'm really happy to be back. I'm very happy. Very happy. But, We're um, happy, too. This is going to be rough, because I don't have my computer. 
were in Jeff's apartment because the studio was still destroyed. Uh, I was not able to fetch my computer because I came here directly from the city because I slept in the city last night after the show. Anyone want to know where I slept? (laughs) 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 Lesbian bed death. Lesbian bed death. Lesbian Lesbian bed bed death. (laughs) (laughs) I slept at... And we're going to... We're going to improv all the sound. <laughs> I slept at Angry Birds, and I have a phenomenal Angry Birds story. She was at my show. Gave me the greatest I will compliment say, ever. I, I missed you, but there was one advantage to not having you on the show last time. What? We got to talk a lot about bestiality. I tried to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it did it and it work. felt good. It felt good to get that out there and mm-hmm. off the chest. Molly, how hard was it to control these animals? I mean, all you have to do is listen to the episodes. Yeah. I, I, it was pretty difficult. You did a good job. but I it, was outnumbered. It got a point where they just took over and it was basically... Uh, lots it, of crazy shit happened. Was I was abusive. drunk. I said, I want to fuck a Pomeranian. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was pretty insane. <laughs> That's what Sandy did to us. Yeah. You yes. blame Sandy. I, blame I do blame Sandy for everything. John has no home. Nope. Nope. Um, yes. I don't know how TP made it through the store yeah. because you're We're located sure. like right on the ocean. You live like underground <laughs> <laughs> next to the ocean. The grace of Jesus How Christ. did that happen? This is a fucking tomb. Everything is, is secure. <laughs> Everything's <airtight>. bone dry. <laughs> yeah. Except for the ceiling. Everything's cool. Yeah. You got some wet spots up there. All right, so here's my story. No, it's just my loads when I get there. <laughs> <off. laughs> blow them up into the ceiling. Um, yeah. This morning, I woke up on Angry Birds' couch, and we decided we were going to go with breakfast. Well, first, tell, tell everybody her, her critique of my, my performance. So, okay. well, l- All right, so last night, Angry Bird and I go over to the Gramercy Theater. Which, um, which most people listening won't know is a very big theater here in new york large venue which was packed for jesus christ pose which Mm. was very nice so we went there we watched the opening act which was a rage against the machine tribute band and then we waited for jesus christ pose to come on and i sat next to angry bird and she proceeded to play approximately 20 minutes of words with friends. <laughs> she doesn't play Angry Birds. Wouldn't that be the most <laughs> ironic thing ever? All right. And I'm watching Jeff and Barney on stage, and I'm enjoying myself, and she's in the glow of words with friends. And she pauses from looking at her phone screen, and she turns to me and says, Jeff's pretty good. No. Jeff is good, is what she said. Jeff is good. And I went, Yep. And she went back to words with friends. <laughs> <laughs> Heartwarming. Wow. Heartwarming moment. <laughs> so that was your... Thank you. Yeah, so yeah. opinionated. Yeah. <laughs> that was the compliment. Thank you. So this morning, now, Angry Bird lives in a duplex. She has a spiral staircase going up to her second <laughs> level. And uh, I slept on the couch. So she's talking to me. She, got, she gets out of the shower. We're having a conversation. She's like yelling from the second floor. And she's like, you can come up anytime you want to shower because the bathroom's up there. I was like, all right. So I start headed upstairs. I get (gasps) to the top of the spiral staircase. I think I know where this is going. She's completely naked. All right. (laughs) And And you got it on. We locked eyes. It was like a moment of horror. Hitchcock's vertigo. In both of our eyes. Or is she fully shaven? (laughs) <laughs> no comment. And uh, no, come on. No. You can't, Molly, you can't Molly, not you comment. you see those knives next to you? <laughs> yeah. I'm grab me one of those. I want to know what her bush looks like. What is the... <laughs> <laughs> what does the angry bird look like down in the feather area? No comment. No, you have no. to say it. You cannot it up. deny it it. the audience. I'm trying what to- is the arrangement of her tail feathers? <laughs> it's in the shape of a pigeon. No, it's not. <laughs> is, it, is it like completely at, like I can see either one I of two things. I would assume Megabush. I could see Megabush, no, no. but I could also see like a nice V. Yes. Okay. Like yeah. a flying nice V. Nice groomed. It's a flying V. <laughs> it's a groomed yeah. V. Yeah. It's the Van Halen I, V. Yeah. <laughs> is, 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 does it have a little blonde stripe in it? Like her Do you really think I like <laughs> stared at her bush? Yes. In that moment? 
You said you locked eyes. You but did I lock think eyes. That means your eyes locked with her pussy. I locked <laughs> eyes, but I was so horrified, and she was horrified, and she went, "What the fuck?" And she ran into the bathroom. Is her ass hairy but she too? Just she invited you I looked upstairs. away. I looked away. I couldn't look at the ass. So then she came out with a towel, and she. And then we. She's. I go. Did we really just have that moment? And she's like, "Yeah, we fucking had that moment." I'm like, "Okay." How did tits look? I said, "Can we move on?" So she's like, "Yeah, we can move on." And then I go, well, can I te- can I comment? Where does she the was lesbian like, sex come in? She goes, yeah, go ahead. What do you have to say? I go, you look fucking awesome. She what? has lost a ton of weight. The chick, I was shut. You know, like when you see someone naked and you're like, no way. That's the most. Really, guys, no shit. I'm being I felt honest. like that when I saw. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw John naked, amazing. I'm like, no way. Her tits are amazing. That, Sweet. I'm, I'm letting you know. That was Sweet my sound tits, effect, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so then as she's talking to me, she's opening her towel. She's oh. like, yeah, so oh. you know. And oh, she's so like now adjusting, you're and I'm like, this moment. Like getting like repeated flashes. I'm thinking this is like a Moses burning bush moment. Like you're going to come down with the white hair and now have the Ten Commandments <laughs> and see the meaning of life or something. <laughs> Not that you're going to say she's got a great body. So wow. you guys didn't make out? No. No, but <laughs> well, then that story was we were having like a really deep conversation. I went into the shower. I took a shower and she stood in the bathroom with me while I was naked showering. Oh. And, and I thought to myself, this doesn't feel weird. <laughs> you're turning. <laughs> you're turning. Please. Yeah. You think so? We talked about how these lesbian feelings can awaken. But I didn't have lesbian feelings. I was just kind of like, now... Well, it's Molly, been a while since you? you've had sex with a man. It is. It's okay, been a first while. of all, I, I just don't think it's weird to be naked in front of other women. Okay, that's my I, point. Like, let's, let's I don't give try a it out shit. right here in my home. <laughs> You're not <laughs> women. Amen. But what about being I have naked a rule. in front of your multiple women in my house? <laughs> all right, take I'm getting. I'll take off. my clothes off. Thank you. But what about being your your friend is a lesbian? Actually, my I you have a lesbian friend. I have a lesbian friend, and when I've got. One of my nipples pierced. I went over to her place and just flashed her. Okay. And I was like, whatever. Now, I don't mind being naked in front of other women, but I've never seen her naked and we've been friends forever. So it was almost like. Yeah, a, that's kind of. It's an it's unveiling. Being naked in front of someone you know or seeing someone you know. That you've known for a long time. Versus like a locker room. Right. I don't Or care I went about to a Korean spa once and there are no clothes allowed in those things. I, when I was in Japan, I went to a, a communal bath. Yep. That's a lot of bush. Yeah. <laughs> well, this That's was like this was like bush. naked women getting like exfoliating scrubs <laughs> from other women. On the vijays? No. <laughs> like everywhere. So on the vijays. They had to be completely Probably. naked. Well, asses and All right, well that was my <laughs> Will you my exfoliate my ass story? later? <laughs> So what do you think? You guys feel like you want to kill yourselves? No, I'm intrigued now. Yeah? Yeah. You want to see the Angry Bird naked? <laughs> <laughs> but she lost a lot of weight. She looks good. I'm not ki- I will I am not fucking kidding. She looks For the record, good. I have not met Angry Bird. You haven't. Mm. Hmm. I'm disappointed to say. Hmm. I would like to see her naked just to give her a similar to say hey, compliment. High five. Not bad. Much like she gave I'm me sure about my performance. I'm sure. <laughs> Not bad, buddy. I'm sure he's nice make body. the same observation you know, with her clothes like on. Yeah. How's it going? Nice body. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice pussy got there. Nice tits. Nice, nice groomed V. And then last night, Barney decided to have a major faux pas and reference introduced me to a friend who thought I mistook me for a slutty individual yeah. that we grew up with. And I said, no, that's not me, but that person you just named happens to be Angry Bird's cousin. (laughs) 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 And approximately 30 seconds later, Angry Bird left. Barney. (laughs) What's Barney doing? (laughs) That's our Barney. Well, if you notice, that's Barney's car outside. He never came back last night, so I don't know where he is. <gasps> oh, no. Are you wor- Do you worry when he disappears? No, I just worry about his car being in the parking lot <laughs> Did he get being in my way yeah, with some other guy, probably. Oh, yeah, mm. Barney. Yeah, mm. buddy. I thought he doesn't need women anymore because he just jerks off to internet porn now. No, he was. He, he said he had a plan last night. Oh, here's here's a funny Barney story. As we were driving to the show, he actually got a call from his ex-fiance 
Mm. Hung up the phone, said, I'm going to get me a whore tonight. <laughs> and then five seconds whore! later, five seconds later, called his mother. And I said, you need to see a fucking shrink, man. <laughs> like, Why'd you say that? Whore to calling mom. Figure it out. I want, I, I really, yeah! I want 30, 30 sessions with that guy. 30 sessions. The man loves talking about himself. I've been I would, trying to get him to see somebody. Why really won't does. he, he see He seems very introspective. He's super smart. Like, that's the thing about him. For someone with such a high IQ, why can't he get his shit together? Kids, listen to me. Stay off the drugs. Mm. The mm. D notes. Yeah. <laughs> the, low, the low D's have Wait, killed his brain cells, trust me. I've I, watched I, it over I, a I period don't. of years. You don't know what a D note is? I'm too young to get this right. Well, the, let me tell you a story. John and I know a guy. He, he happens to be a little person. He's a little guy. <laughs> he's, not, <laughs> he's not a full guy. He's a half a guy. He drives around <laughs> town. Around to he's a motorcycle dwarf. On a Harley. That's Anywho, awesome. he was overheard one day telling someone that uh, he needs to go pick up some D notes. That person told John and I, and I said, what's a D-note? No, I was the one that overheard it. Oh, you overheard it? I was the one that was like, "What is that what I think it is? So we looked it up. I looked it up because I'm old. I Googled it on the World Wide Web. No, Urban Dictionary. (laughs) Oh, right. And I said, D-note, and that's basically a joint. What? (laughs) I thought I was all up on the drug terminology, (laughs) but apparently not. That's right. So the little guy likes the D-notes. Sweet. And he has had massive memory oh, like, issues. like a doobie? Thing like oh, maybe a, like a doobie. More like a, a dime bag. You know? My mom uses the word doobie. <laughs> it amuses me. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mom says, do you think that guy does pot? Yeah. Does the pot. <laughs> Were you smoking the marijuana oh, she also, cigarettes? <laughs> she calls it dope. Dope. <laughs> do kids still do dope these days? Mm. I like like that generation used to always say, oh, I was so high, meaning drunk. What? Yes, they used to say hi. It was the same as being drunk. Well, my mom just talks about how she used to take quaaludes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> awesome. I got you guys all beat. My mom wanted to know if my Jewish friends celebrated Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> you told me that, and I was floored. Because I really... For the record, yes. <laughs> but you know what? It explains a lot about you. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Hey, I'm very Catholic over here. Over here. We all know that stuff. Apple from the tree. (laughs) Jews don't eat turkey. (laughs) So. It ain't kosher. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, Ma, you realize it's not a religious holiday. She was like, it's not? (laughs) Yes, the the baby turkey came down from heaven and (laughs) blessed everyone with mashed potatoes. Died for our sins. (laughs) The baby turkey. And the three wise men getting cranberry sauce. (laughs) <laughs> and pumpkins. I don't get and the turkey said, stuff me. And there's a magical gourd that lays chestnuts around the house that we have to hot. And the turkey said, Father, you have forsaken me. I thirst for gravy. <laughs> 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 All right, so... Let's get to the sex. Let's get to some sex. Who got stuffed on Thanksgiving? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. I haven't had sex in two months. Why maybe are we doing a sex on podcast date. anymore? Maybe on your date. <laughs> mm-hmm. You tell me. When was the last time you had sex, Jeff? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Everyone wants to know. Oh, two weeks ago? That's good. Nice. That's nice. Who got, was it? You got the doc beat. Yeah, yeah, Jeffrey. It was the white chick who just dumped me. So, yeah. I like how you had to specify white. How did she dump you, and why did she dump and you? Stop being a racist. Well, I have to specify between white and Indian. Jesus Christ. Why did she throw me? Well, it was it was a repeat of the whole Becca situation. She just kind of disappeared. She upped and d- left. Yeah. Actually, the third time. Nowhere to be found. Yeah. So. Did she change her number? No. No, I eventually did hear from her after I went to her apartment and then threw a note through her window. Now, when you say up and left, is it like a Batman? Like there's a <laughs> smoke and she's gone? <laughs> I didn't actually see her up and leave. No. Just, she stopped answering messages and calls and everything and i said holy shit That's i'm so having rude. deja vu all over again i fucking hate when people do that yeah i'm g- i'm getting sick of it myself because it's happening every couple of years it's it's so not courteous to just like why don't you have the balls to be like i don't think we should see each I other used, anymore i used to do that i'm not shocked 
(laughs) (laughs) But you know what? And this leads me to talk about crazy women again. You, when you told me this happened Mm -hmm. with the white chick, my response was what? Do you recall? Yes, I do. What was it? You said something like, (laughs) you always knew she was an asshole. (laughs) (laughs) Right. You always knew she was an asshole. Yeah. From day one, you were calling I, me and texting me and being like, can you believe she did this? Can you?" Be-? And I was like, she's an asshole mm. and she's unstable. So now yeah. you're saying, can you believe she just dropped off the face of the... Yes, Sounds like I someone can. else at this table. And you know what? Mm-hmm. Look, I'm starting to worry about you. Well, you- You're very smart and you have to start seeing these patterns in people. Yep. The problem is <laughs> every girl that anybody sees you can diagnose as crazy because they're all fucking crazy and as soon as you put your dick in them they become even more crazy uh, mm-hmm. it's oh. the dick crazy test. it's the oh. dick cra- tra- no like as soon as you stick your dick you in they go smart. crazy let's let's clarify this mom. before girls- we get on his asshole let shut i'm going to clarify so you're saying that and i want the facts before we debate it's latent bu- and i dig it out with my dick every <laughs> <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> That's disgusting. The visual <laughs> makes it oil kill myself. Yeah, I, I, in. I hook it, hook yeah. it, and pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> what you putting in it? <laughs> Thank you. One last one I have to put in. All right, listen to me. In post. Are you saying every woman is crazy? Yes or no? To yes, okay. to a degree, uh, absolutely. Okay, and they appear not crazy until you put your dick in them. You hold it in. That's the only way you can attract the male is to act normal. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then as soon I as the dick's in, mm-hmm. that's when the crazy co- blossoms like a fucking <laughs> rose opening. Mm-hmm. Now, I will blossoms. give you my response, and then Molly will give you hers. You. Oh, what, 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 you. I don't like this organized you, No, shut it. Discussion. You are blaming the woman's crazy. You're just saying they're all crazy, and then I, like, like you're not taking responsibility. Yes, I am. Before my, you put your I'm dick in them, my you dick, need to assess if this woman is crazy or not. They're always signs. They're, no, they're but they're all crazy. Signs. I would never see a girl ever. I would not be able to date any girls ever if <laughs> that was the case. Because it would be like, hi, you're a girl. Oh, you're crazy. Sorry, can't put my dick in you. Hi, you're a girl. Oh, you're crazy too. Sorry, can't put my dick so in what, you. So what? There are just there are just degrees of crazy. Yes. Who is worthy of yes. your dick? And certain girls and are less crazy. You, on, you make the latent come to come to, and, and then it's like now I can't deal with you. And the girl that's the least. Is that crazy? what you think? I think they are not impressed with that's, your run of the mill penis. That's the girl they you They flee, and you're like. She was crazy the whole time. You married a girl that's I'm the least crazy. I'm seeing like a volcano graft. I see what he's saying. Yes, like uh, the, the red, really dark red and yellow. And <laughs> levels, levels of crazy. Yeah, I'm seeing it. It's I'm just, it, it just so happens that Jeff and I are attracted to the extreme end of that spectrum. But everyone's yeah. a little crazy. Everyone it's is unstable. Dumb. However. No, I'm completely normal, right, Jeff? No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You, you really cannot own the fact you have no ability to determine whether a woman is good for you. Because you just fuck. Crazy. No, I agree that women try and tone down their psychoses to attract a male mm-hmm. because some women are self aware and know that they're fucking insane, but you should be there's always signs. And can I say also, do you not believe, Molly, that men tone down their shit? A hundred percent. There's a whole mating dance are you that goes kidding on. Me? No, but men, it's more like anger issues. With no. Us. You're like, you girls are actually legitimately fucking out of your minds. <laughs> How so? Please be specific. Take it away, master. <laughs> like, every, every, I, I, we can't we can't be vague about these things. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> I want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm just going to leave the podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because you can't Good. own what you cannot own it. You can't own the fact that you have There's you nothing fuck crazy chicks. So I've you said blame that. them. So I've you said that a billion times. But I tend to be attracted to the overly crazy chicks, the ones that are over the top crazy. No, you that, said that means, you're a flaw. You said women. Once you stick your dick in them, that's when it comes out. They poof like a magic. Pill. No, they were crazy 
before, but you just wanted to get your dick wet. You convinced yourself they weren't crazy. No, I thought yep. maybe they were at the lower end. No, end. no. Yeah. you're in Are denial. You it's like denial. A ca- like a cartoon, like when they have when you hit the lever and then something falls and then it starts rolling down. Oh, Are you defending him? No, no, I'm sh- I'm trying to explain what there's he's a saying. Uh, a Ru- a Rube Goldberg. A Rube, that's exactly Rube what he's Goldberg saying. Device. Right. My dick is the trigger. Yeah, it's the trigger. That and then the end product. The bowling ball is falls. Crazy. It goes down. Wah, this wah, 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 wah. Alert! It's, alert! And it's just there. Well, I gotta. I have to be honest with you. You know what? It, okay, I this let, is what no. Let me finish a thought for once in this fucking show. Sorry. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Surrounded by Callies now is what you're saying. I have a problem where men are awesome with me. We have a good time. We hang out. And then they fuck me. And you know what happens? They go they, gay. They become... <laughs> <laughs> Got them. They become crazy. Yeah, the no. same thing they happens. Become they become crazy. They become assholes. They become attached to me. They want to like, I want to be around you all the time. You must be dating women. No. Molly. No. Molly, can you speak to this? Yes. <laughs> they do. They become yes. ridiculous. You won't, but the you can. Same. <laughs> May I speak to this? Girls are like slot machines, okay? Picture oh, this. Oh, God. So my dick is the quarter. I put my dick in. I turn the lever. And then you hope that you're going to get that lineup of less crazy. But I usually hit the jackpot of crazy. Cha-ching. That was good, good, good sound. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Did we have any success in getting my email up and running? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing works. Maybe Nothing. next episode. This is what Sandy did. We are paralyzed here. You know, and fuck the glory hole for having like a full functioning podcast. <laughs> we are just sitting here with scraps. <laughs> fuck the home we're, network. We're Fucking little, scraps. There's we're sitting here literally sitting on a wooden table. Indian style. With Indian style. <laughs> with Wait. a fucking green I was gonna towel. Say, there's a heavily used bath towel <laughs> instead of a tablecloth right now. <laughs> on the table. Okay, we're drinking Bud Light we're drinking NFL Bud White cans. out of the can. <laughs> And Jeff has sunglasses on because he can't stand the lighting in his own apartment. I've lived here for two years and I've never put these fucking lights on. I want a tweet about So fuck all of you guys. Robert Kelly, Weird Medicine... Who else you is think on? You're so cool with we your do functioning to help pod, us. with your functioning studios, with your electricity and your heat, thousands of dollars of equipment. <laughs> I got duct tape on these fucking headphones. Help <laughs> me! My headphones are crooked and taped. <laughs> Can we take a picture for that and put it on our Instagram, okay, yeah. Molly? Just, just the top just of the my duct head. Tape. <laughs> We're not things. kidding, you guys. Like this is what we do for you. So if you love us, if you truly love us, follow Nathan Berrios, please, please, please hit the donate button. Please. please purchase your things through our Amazon app on our website. Maybe we can get new headphones through Amazon.com. Yeah, please. Maybe some duct tape. Amazon.com, <laughs> where you can get all of your shit. <laughs> Go through our website. You'll save money. We'll get money. It works for everybody. Thank get, you. I can Amazon. get my laptop com. fixed. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> or... You can purchase your games through Gamefly, which is the Netflix for video games. So you can keep your games as long as you want. And if you have electricity, Mazel, buy games. Game- Enjoy your electricity. Mazel dot. Gamefly.com. It's awesome. Maybe I can get the water stains <laughs> on my ceiling fixed. All right, I wouldn't go that bananas. far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking in front of me and I see a bunch of bananas. I just think sitting. those are fake. They've been here for a year. <laughs> I don't even fucking know where they came from. <laughs> And there is a huge painting on the wall. And what uh, does it say? And what does it say? No Hope Studios. And what's the image? It's, Me. It's <laughs> TP crying in his hands. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we don't have email. No. <laughs> now, Ooh. I um, on my way out here, I decided to stop and get a Cosmo in Penn Station. To get some uh, resources. Because I knew I would be without... This is, uh, wh- <laughs> this is home wh- of the <laughs> worst sex tip. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're reduced to reading fucking Cosmo so articles. Let's, let's, uh, let's hit sta- the Stacy shit theme music, please. Meow, 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 meow. New, 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 new. Cosmopolitan. Okay. Stacy shit.
this is, I found they have something called the bedside astrologer. I love that it's a little insert in yeah, the middle the of the magazine. What? Astrologer? So, you, astrologer. <laughs> so basically, we'll put it on our nightstand and read it. So I'm laying in bed and I have a gentleman qual- caller and I will turn to him and say, what's your sign? Let's read your... Astrology. And you will say, gentlemen, caller, I am a Virgo. So I will turn <laughs> I'm on my... A, a throbbing heap of man. And before we have sex, I will turn to my guide and say, the things that make Virgos irresistible. Are Ooh. you ready? Oh, John, are you really a Virgo? Can't wait to yeah. hear this. Okay. I am the sign of the Virgin. You should take a picture of this, of me reading Cosmo. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Okay. The, the sign of the virgin. The, the things Virgo. that make a Virgo irresistible. My fucking lovely personality and beautiful blue eyes. Right. He'll make sure you orgasm. True. Thank you. Virgo de- dudes are perfectionists. Yes. When it comes to pleasing <laughs> 100%. you, he takes pride in hitting all of your hot spots. Oh, yeah. All right. Are you ready for the second one? Which I, True. I will laugh at yeah, because I have dated you. To impress you, he'll whip up a gourmet meal. <laughs> <laughs> With his cock. <laughs> I'll Ooh. blow a gourmet meal into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this guy loves tasks that come with instructions, like tackling an intricate chicken recipe. Or playing what? video games all day. When he wants to woo you, he'll invite you to his place for a perfectly cooked meal and a nice bottle of wine. <laughs> what place? Ver- <laughs> John Fuck doesn't it, have a place. His FEMA trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, FEMA is a bunch of fucking assholes, too. Here's the third thing that makes you irresistible. Mm. He will help you chill out. What? Freaking over family drama? Lean on this dude. Uh, he has a calming vibe and will be great at helping you. Probably why all my crazy girlfriends call me for advice. Mm-hmm. I don't. No, True. Just have him on the show. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is enough therapy for you. <laughs> I bring you in so I can tear you down. Okay, how do you win a Virgo over? Have big tits. He likes... <laughs> <laughs> I got my email! What? Nice. All right, let's finish this. He likes to feel needed. Pick his brain for tips on what kind of laptop you should buy or what restaurant you should take your mom what? to. He'll love that you trust his opinion. What turns him off? Small tits. Blondes. <laughs> Sanity. Got her. Save the bitching for your friends. This guy is a doer and doesn't deal well with complaining. So if you vent to him for long periods of time, he'll tune out. That's kind of true. I think that's true for any guy, though. <laughs> I don't think that's just like yeah, a Virgo thing. Yeah, what guy thing. likes bitching? Do you want to know what kind of sex a Virgo craves? Missionary. <laughs> a marathon session. He loves lengthy lovemaking where all his senses are aroused. That means sexy music and lots of foreplay. I do like music. I will say that. Okay. No, even though you said that Lifehouse is playing the ground machine next oh. week. I'd like oh, to make wow. love to Lifehouse. <laughs> <laughs> is that a Dude, I actually. Uh, meow, 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 meow. I took someone to a Lifehouse concert. Not me. No, Not it wasn't me. you. It was that other blonde I dated a while ago that was crazy that's in Australia now. Oh, she sucks. <laughs> okay, I can't believe you took her. I can believe it, but she she's loved the worst. Lighthouse. That's how I sealed that deal. It's disgusting. <laughs> well, you even admit this shit is amazing. Yeah, she was gross. She smelled real bad I afterwards. Know. I know. <laughs> like her armpit stung. We've heard all about this. Did I say it on the air? I don't know, Shit. but I've heard all about this. Yeah, she smelled bad. Like, uh, we would be done, and she'd be laying there, and she'd put her arms up, and I'd get a whiff of that. Whoa. Whoa. Did you say anything? Throw up. No, I just went with yeah! that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Jeff, what's your sign? What do you Gross. think? I'm a fucking disease. <laughs> Cancer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. That would explain he's a water sign, which means he's very turbulent. <laughs> <laughs> the cancer are man. Am- oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he are looks you an like. Amateur astrologer? Are you ready? <laughs> are you ready, Jeff, to I, hear about you? Let's hear it. On my bedside astrologer. Please. I know a little bit about this. About I this. I dated uh, a. I, I told you one of my exes dumped me because our signs didn't <laughs> support. Our stars didn't line up or something. That's shit. what she told you. She did a but star. Really, it was your penis. She did a star chart. Fuck oh you. Oh my god. Oh fuck you. All right. 
Fuck you. Listen. Who who raped me? Miss miss uh two months without sex, you're just missing my dick. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cancer man will take care of you when you're sick. Aww. Got the sniffles? He's going to show up hey. with some chicken soup in your favorite mm, movies. You have the sniffles. Uh, I'm sick, and he you. never did oh my dick God. for me. I'm just picturing Jeff. <laughs> Here, Mrs. Sniffles, I bought you some <laughs> chicken soup. Here, chicken. have a fucking banana. Let me put my <laughs> my leg between your knees. I brought, <laughs> I brought a copy of uh, Brave. It just got released on Blu-ray. Here's some chicken soup for the soul from Jeffrey. Here's my soul in the soup. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The second thing, Cancer Man. Money is no issue. He is a whiz at finances. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best. He is great at investing and budgeting. But he also isn't afraid to splurge once in a while. That's why oh, we have yeah. such great microphones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the duct tape, man. Look at what he's doing. <laughs> Shit. Just look at this uneven headpiece <laughs> on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Barney. <laughs> this one I have to agree with. He'll coo at babies, play with puppies, and help old ladies cross the street. And bite the heads off of bats. <laughs> 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 with this guy, you'll be saying, aw, a lot. Until you realize, oh, there's a better guy over there. I'll dump his ass. Okay, Aww. you ready? Yeah. How to win Jeff over. Turn off the lights. You're going to love this. Mm -hmm. Cook dinner at your place and play an old school game like Monopoly. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not true for anybody. That Jeff Cancers dig cheesy. women who like sharing low key time. That, uh, what turns Jeff off? Let's hear it. When he's moody, he likes to be left alone. You're damn that, straight. Okay, Trying to get him to talk will make him think you're pushy, which will drive him away. Circle and highlight that one. What's the sex Jeff craves? Here, let's hear it. Cruise Soggy. Sex. Soulful sex. <laughs> Feeling close and connected while getting it on is important. Try the spooning position. Spoon man. Mm. It's an intimate sex <laughs> style. See spoon. That pushes his <laughs> buttons. Let's see your spoon. Spoon man. Made out with a girl who was wearing braces last night. That was weird. What? I met her. Yeah. Come together I with didn't hear your about the braces, hands. But save yeah. me. They were only lower. Were they upper and lower? There's, there's something going on the top too. Did you run your your I, tongue across the braces? Because I, 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 I caught, caught on my your tongue dick. on on. Did on, you on a, a rubber band at one point? It was That's weird. Always Dude. a fear. I felt like I was in high school. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I don't think yes, I. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there's a new white girl. Uh, just as soon as the Wait, old white. Girl. What if you had a latex allergy? You couldn't make out with her. Uh, well, everything's fine, so you don't worry about everything, it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but thank you for the heads up. She will henceforth be known as Braceface. I don't think I've ever no, made out don't with, you a girl dare. with braces. Why? P.S. Indian girls moving back to New York. On <gasps> what? Bad, bad. Split <laughs> bad, 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 Jeffrey. bad, Jeffrey. bad, bad, <laughs> sit. <laughs> <laughs> she texted me that she has the apartment all herself for December. Two winking faces. Oh, you know what that two means. winky That's faces. Down. Maybe you'll get a blowjob. Oh, for her, I've gotten them. Blow the, white, right. the white girl never did. What's your sign, Molly? I am an Aries. Let's see what your shit a is. Fire sign. Ooh, that's what? why you're such a fucking hothead. Mm -hmm. Don't <laughs> fuck with me. I'm a fucking ram. Aries. <laughs> Do you want to hear uh, five kick-ass things about you? Fuck yeah. Your mouth was made for a sultry smile. Aww. I thought that was going somewhere else. <laughs> <I> should too. <laughs> Shameless flirting is one of the things you do best. True. Mm, that's true. Going on a wild adventure is what you live for. Adrenaline makes you feel so alive. Yeah, I feel that way when I play Skyrim. Of all the signs, you're the best at figuring out cool, inventive ways to make money. Thank you. <laughs> you could be the next Bethany Frankel. What? what? You're the hell is that? You're I do jerk people off of cash sometimes. <laughs> 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 your guilty pleasure? Shopping. What? Yes. You're a total no. clothes fanatic. True. Only if it's online shopping. And, in, and you're up for anything attitude draws people. You're up for anything attitude draws people to you like honey does bees. See, that's what this is bullshit. It's just a bunch of random shit and then like a couple of the yeah, things you're like, know. oh yeah, that's... Fucking. What turns you on, Molly? Here we go. Let's hear it. Taking control in bed is what gets you going. Fuck yeah. Wear a pair of thigh high boots and play dominatrix. Hey. What gets you warm and fuzzy? 
an intellectual connection. That's why you and John didn't work out. Yeah, you know, well. The, <laughs> the more interesting conversation <laughs> you have, it. the more love you feel. Darn it. Who wants to read me? Me. Okay. There I am. I'm a Taurus. You're also an Earth sign. That's why we get along so well. No, I ah. think Aries and Taurus are very compatible. Bullshit. That's why Molly right. and I fucked last night. Yep. Hey. <laughs> what? Did it you was uh, what's, Molly, what's Stacy, Angry, Angry Bird. Sizzle the Timbers. <laughs> she is a Pisces. Another. Five kick ass things about you. Hmm. Uh, yeah. You're incredibly generous. From spotting a pal $20 to offering the last bite of your dessert to your man, you're always willing to share. That's true. I share my body. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say tampons. <laughs> Nobody's uh, this is stupid. I'm reading your sex stuff. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I talked about your sultry lips. <laughs> she doesn't care about your other shit, Grandma. She's, a, she's an Aries. She doesn't give a shit about that. But I'm so giving. <laughs> oh, here. That's why you gave her the magazine. You'll like this one. Talk about a gym goddess. Others are in awe of your strength and stamina when you, they watch you in action. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> as I pant while I climb upstairs. <laughs> what turns you on? Mm. Sensual sex is your fave. Candles, starting with massage and taking things slowly, will all make you breathless. Oh, that's so boring. No. That's so lame. I hate Cosmo. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> that is lame. What you gets you warm and fuzzy? Girl, bad boys are just not for you. It's the sweet, lovey-dovey, dedicated guy who actually does what he says he'll do. Bullshit. Will really <sighs> win your heart. Please. Uh, There's nothing in there about, about latent homosexuals? No. <laughs> <laughs> who, who but if there, was, if there was, I, I might you back. believe in or From South America? <laughs> Did you know Adele and <laughs> Megan <laughs> Fox are also <laughs> tourists? <laughs> what is it? Adele and Megan Fox and Jessica Alba. Oh, Megan Fox, thank God. Wait, okay. who's an Aries? Ew. Who's an Aries? John will like this. Kristen Stewart. Holler. Oh, fuck you. Holler. Uh, uh, Wait, are there any sex tips in here? Because they're really funny. Usually. I like to... Uh, I read one one time that had different positions and one was called... I'll never forget this from like middle school. The G-Spot Jiggy. <laughs> I remember I'll never forget it like branded into my head what is it that was the name of a sex position the G-spot jiggy which is which yeah I have no idea I just remember the name well, so you can just make useless. one up claim it I remember <laughs> look it up I'm looking it up G-spot jiggy I remember reading that you should grip a guy's cock look him dead in the eyes and then punch him in the face and lick the head as if it's the most delicious ice cream cone you've ever tasted I well, don't like ice cream <laughs> <laughs> ice cream gives me indigestion <laughs> it gives I'm me lactose diarrheas. intolerant I get diarrhea real hard when I have the ice cream Alright, so this is so <laughs> you see a picture of this for Instagram? How I have to read our email yeah. <laughs> Do you see this? <laughs> Off my windows phone <laughs> do, you see, do you see this? Which she can oh look, 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 look what came up first Cosmopolitan, G-Spot Jiggy all right, can I have the Cosmo? We're going to do one more fucking thing, and then we're going to go to listener email. Go for it. Time to answer your emails. All right, so um, Cosmo, you know, is always Sucks. just such a wealth of info. <laughs> a wealth of bullshit. Um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. Here it is, G-Spot Jiggy. Are you going to? Wait, we got a picture of it. What is it? Oh, it's something from behind, it looks like. That's called yeah, doggy called, style. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. Oh, I guess the light makes it special. Right, hold on. Let me, let me read it. Let me read it. She's hold translucent. On. What the fuck is you turn your girl into see through? Yeah. I can't fucking see it because these goddamn pop ups. Cosmo.com. Take your fucking pop ups off. Oh, shit. What just happened? <laughs> Riveting. Riveting entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Should we read from a book like we do with Fifty Shades of Grey? I got books about terrorism and Nazis over here. <laughs> yeah. What's the best position if you want to have a quickie? Mm, what do against you Against the wall. Her up against the wall. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. I like it against the door. Get down, get down on all... F <laughs> <clears throat> get down on all fours with your man kneeling behind you and have him plunge inside <laughs> you, grabbing your rear for balance. A little firm, well-placed stroke 
of your G spot can Rough. open up Rough. a Rough. whole Rough. new orgasmic world. You're not sexy. If he's the exploring it. kind, encourage him to thrust. Men try to sound sexy and they sound far, no. gay. Yeah. <laughs> sound like Liberace. Also, that's doggy style. <laughs> they sound like Liberace. Yeah, basically, it's doggy style, but it says, hold on, here's, this is where it makes it the G spot, Jiggy. Ready? No, I don't care. Thrust far enough inside so his testicles hit your body. That's what? one of my favorite sounds. <laughs> Ready? Here's what, it's, here's what it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. This is doggy style. This is not, it's just a funny name. <laughs> this is like old time radio. <laughs> yeah. Get like the symbols out. We need like a harmonica and one of those <laughs> whistle. <laughs> okay, there's one called the seahorse and I'm dying to know what that looks like. All right, enough. Yeah, this, this is radio. Is, why are you All hijacking? Right. Hijacking. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. All right. Can you please uh, compose? Okay. okay. Thank you. I want you to uh, do some background music in a little while. So here we go. What's the possess- best position for a quickie? It's standing doggy style. So you guys. Oh, are- I like that. Right. It gives him access to your G spot and your clitoris, so it's more likely that you'll have a speedy climax. I like that. And when you can change, the you put angle. your hands against the wall. Well, then the, what they recommend is the farther you bend over, the more intense the thrust. Another bo- bonus is the view is great for him, especially my ass. So he'll get off quickly. <laughs> Once you get started, don't waste time. Grab one of his hands and place it between your legs and bring the other to your breasts. <laughs> mm. So that's there. I like that. Here's also, since visual. I started doing yoga, you can do that and bend over and like grab your ankles. The foraging anteater? Mm, almost. <laughs> okay. How do I give my boyfriend a hand job that feels just as good um, as the one he gives himself? Good. How about I, I got I, it? I need How about you advice? don't give boys hand jobs? Yes. Mm. I, I learned just, that a long time ago. Here's the advice. Don't put it in your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Grab his We're cock. We're not after your <laughs> hands. Guide it toward your snatch. <laughs> we have hands. We don't need your hands. <laughs> There's a scene in Homeland, and I don't know anyone who wa- doesn't watch Homeland. Some guy comes back from being a POW in Iraq or Afghanistan or something, and his wife wants to bang him, and um, she starts like you know hand jobbing him. With the intent of having sexual intercourse. And he gets up on, um, he t- says, take your shirt off. She takes her shirt off and he starts jerking himself off, staring at her tits. And she's like, let me do that. He goes, it's best you don't. <laughs> and, he jer- <laughs> and he just jerked himself mm. while she stood there topless. And then she felt like That's a piece weird. of meat and cried. Nice. <laughs> so there you go. And that's what she was. <laughs> that's what she was. A piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> two two flapjacks. It's best you don't. Okay, so let's uh, let, let's <laughs> listen to uh, listen. <laughs> let's read some email. <laughs> it's time to answer your email. Boom. <laughs> and here we go. It's time to answer your emails. <laughs> there you go. And here we go. Um, this is a female listener from Virginia. That name, I always want to say Virginia. Mm. Hi, Dr. Stacy, TP, John, and Molly. My name is Virginia, and I thought I'd give some of my thoughts from a female view first. To start with, I love the show. And what inspired me to write in was Brian's email from from Callie Returns Part 2. As I have a job that allows me to wear headphones at work, and I work 12-hour days Monday through Friday, your show helps me enjoy my work and laugh throughout the day. I actually suggested to my husband that he listen, and some friends at work, and a bunch of our close friends. We both love the show. And by the way, I'm sorry if this email comes across like I can't read, but I'm reading off this really small screen, Mm -hmm. and I might need reading glasses because I'm old. (laughs) Okay. Well, that's not completely true now. Sometimes when... um, Us and our friends get together to talk about your show and our thoughts on it. Usually we all enjoyed it and we listened since the first one put on iTunes. Quite a few, such as myself, my husband, really never enjoyed the show that much when Callie was on. And we had at least four friends that agreed with us that she was dull, boring, and her stories seemed forced and her voice gave us a headache. She was always drinking and getting off subject, then trying to join back in going, what, wait, what, over and over. But that worked itself out, and then the show got to its peak so far with John and his hilarious stories. Ugh. 
and his <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> and then Molly came on, and she was a riot, and she makes me laugh more than anyone. And Dr. Stacy, your information and polls are priceless. You find the best clips from the news and always bring a laugh. And then on over the borderline, we heard Callie, funnily enough, some friends got together and were hanging out, and the show came up, and we were all distraught and weren't looking forward to the return of Callie's episodes and all hoped it wouldn't be permanent. Since she's been back, it feels like an all-time low. And that she's more a credit than a cast member. Hope she can handle taking a day off to record again, or at least can she take every summer off. And this show will be just a summer thing for us. We'll keep listening for the peak shows again. Hope they're coming soon. A long-time listener, Virginia. Hear that? I'm the peak Aww. show. Okay, thank you for your compliments. Uh, Callie's not on our show. She's nope. not coming back. We had no, her on no, as a guest, no, and she might no. come on again as a guest, but <laughs> she is not on. So I tried to clear that up with everyone, um, and I hope everyone... How long ago was that email sent? Um, like before the flood, <laughs> before the great, flood. before the great plague. It was October eighth. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. That was well, I have a lot to catch up fuck. on. Fuck! Where the fuck have you been? Um, October eighth. That was way before the flood. Um, you are slacking. I am. Well, it's been rough. I mean, we're sitting here like fucking tool bags with me trying to open an email on a screen that's the size of my... Uh, it's not even the size of a maxi pad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even... Would any other phone get your email <laughs> up? No, so stop complaining. <laughs> I'm turning John off Jeez. from my complaining. Ugh. I'm starting to tune you out. <laughs> I can't I'm open I'm not bringing it. you chicken soup anymore, you <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Sniffles. Jeff, I can't open this email. Can you? I can't, I'm so frustrated. Well, I need technology. I'll just stand. Best, best, when uh, when Stacy showed up to the taping. I've never been to Jeff's apartment. Never been here. So she's <laughs> texting all of us saying, I'm here. Where is it? Where's the door? I'll just stand here. <laughs> she threw a fucking temper tantrum no, via text message. All these texts were in, within 15 seconds. I, I was, this Didn't is what happened. Even... I got out of my car and I'm like, it's there's cold. no, there's no entrance. There are these doors with yeah. these like industrial locks yeah. on them. There's no red <laughs> carpet for you to fuck. There's no, there's no. So I was texting you guys. No one got back to me. So I wrote, I'll just stand here. Dude, it was like a second. <laughs> Literally, the second the text came in, I walked to the door to get you. Well, it must have been delayed because I was out there for 30 minutes. But ironically, we were sitting here and I was going, we should let her stand outside for a while. <laughs> I didn't even see that text when I thought that. Of course. You stupid ass. Just to teach you a lesson. Thank you, yeah, Jeff. I live in like, like an Air Force controlled hangar building. Uh, this isn't a question, but Martin just texted, I'm dying. Jeff's sound effects are so funny. Yeah, we really missed that. <laughs> Enjoy this yeah, episode. Well, you're going to hate this <laughs> Sorry, dude. You're going to hate this show. <laughs> True genius. And John, I feel you. It's nice to let out some steam and complain. Oh. Keep it up, some guys. Semen. And girls, you don't suck. Peace. That's Thank you, Jack. That's you're bad. welcome. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to you. you that I don't suck? You don't suck. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Good job. Um, I don't know. I How do I? Here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let your sausage fingers get the <laughs> email because I can't work your touch screen. <laughs> okay. I don't know uh, if we should talk about this this episode or. Oh, later, I have. An email. But we have to talk about the living situations. Yes, we do. Because it's fucking driving me up a wall. Yeah. You want to talk about ranting? Yeah. Gotta, probably. Yeah. We'll probably have to do that next episode. I, I got some pented up shit. Yeah, I mean, aside from the fact that I have an IHOP shit brewing, I have some pent up mm -hmm. frustration. Mm -hmm. Me too. I mean, I haven't had sex for two months because, uh, mostly because I'm back to living with my parents right now. <laughs> <laughs> pump up the volume ain't working. No <laughs> <laughs> I want to turn on dirty dancing. You when you're almost forty, living in your parents' house, you can work. watch porn on your phone. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> 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 really? Thanks for the tip. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'm dying. Have, there's plenty of mobile apps you can get. <laughs> I've been watching Sons of Anarchy like a fucking maniac, you know, uh, locked in my childhood bedroom you know on my much iPad. It sucks watching porn on a little <laughs> screen, holding it up while you're jerking it with one hand. <laughs> sucks. I'm telling you, I'm watching Sons of Anarchy under the covers with uh, headphones, 
pretending that I'm really not existing the way I yeah, am. I hear that. Sounds. I mean, at least I get good. some home cooked meals, but where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going with? Who are you hanging out? Are you going to be home for dinner? <laughs> Fuck you. You or- know what <laughs> You know what happened today? I said, uh, where are you going? I said, I'm going, uh, I'm hanging out with John. What the fuck are you hanging out with him for? <laughs> How about this? <laughs> that fucking uh, laptop I brought here is theirs because I have a desktop. <laughs> and I had to tell my dad that I had to do work. <laughs> And he was like, so why are you taking the laptop? At the library. I was like, I, that's exactly what I said. I went into fucking high school mode. And I was like, uh, uh, I'm doing, uh, I'm going to the library. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, like, I'm in high school We're again. We're so old. I'm in fucking high school Can we again. Live here? the only one that doesn't live with his parents. Can we live in the right here, right For now, the record. Jeff, you are the only adult right now in the room. <laughs> We're all fucking displaced. I'm going to kill Dad, myself. may I be excused? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I was at the dinner table the other night. <laughs> the dinner table? The dinner table. This is the only fucking table I have. <laughs> and I burped. And my mother's like, really? And I got <laughs> scolded. Is my mother British? <laughs> no, really? Really? My dad says, stop yeah. making animal noises. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, I got to burp, man. <laughs> Relax. I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. I, I'm not kidding. I'm going to kill my. This is a call for help. This is a cry for help right now. <laughs> Someone give me a place to live. I've been so depressed. Me too. This past month. This <laughs> past month is so John depressing. and I fucked in his childhood bed. How was that? <laughs> Thank you. It was really tiny. Yeah, it a, is tiny. It is how tiny, was the bed? how was the bed? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Everything oh. was. It was. It's a fucking twin. <laughs> really? So is mine. Okay, so's mine and yeah, Superman. But you haven't Superman tried the fucking it. Superman is bigger than a twin you bed. Have tried, you seen him? Yeah. Have you seen him? You haven't tried the <laughs> fucking it though, have you? I've tried. And failed. Yes. Have you seen the size of my boyfriend? Yes, he's enormous. <laughs> <laughs> he's an enormous man. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> I really Where's that ring of yours. I'm barely keeping it together, people. And I think the next episode we might have to have like a therapy. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a breakdown. It's <laughs> just gonna, gonna break it down. That uh, that weekend we were supposed to tape and I had the flu. Mm-hmm. I'm not kidding. I was in bed the entire I didn't get out of bed from Friday night until Monday morning when I had to go to work. I was in my childhood bed and my mom was bringing me soup. And I think ninety percent of the flu was me, like just want, like I think it was depression. Did you I, I think I was like depressed. <laughs> I was so, it was awful. Oh, I was but- like, I, I, like I'm getting yelled at for leaving like wet towels on my bed. Well, forks and- in the sink. <laughs> forks in okay. the sink. How about getting up in the morning, and your dad, who is retired, mind you, mine too, has come downstairs. <laughs> And shit in the bathroom downstairs so that I have to now shower in his feces smelling. Ba- <laughs> you have a bathroom upstairs next to your bedroom. Why did you walk downstairs <laughs> to shit in that bathroom? Um, <laughs> Just so I can shower. Right. He Excuse has me. an agreement with mom. Uh, my cat is with me in the house. And my cat is not happy, so he's been shitting all over the house. <laughs> Take that. And my mother is is like punishing me pretty like every morning. You know what your fucking cat did to now? <laughs> and I'm like, I can't help it. He wants to go home. If I could shit all over the house, I would too. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should start shitting on all over the house. A final too. act of rebellion. <laughs> You start <laughs> defecating all over the place. I bet you the cat would stop because the cat would be like, "What the fuck? I'm getting blamed for shitting all over the house. It's her." And you know what? We eat din- we eat dinner at four forty five, and okay, four thirty, <laughs> four thirty. And then I am in bed promptly at eight p.m. because I just want the day to end. <laughs> I go in my childhood bedroom and I curl up with my cat and I cry. I play Pokemon. <laughs> I play Pokemon and watch fucking Ink Masters on Spike TV. I cleaned out my mom's attic and found old pictures of my old boyfriends, and I invited them over to pick them up. <laughs> <What>? Just- <laughs> you did not. Yes, I did. You invited 
I didn't get a phone call. You have no pit. You burned all my pictures. <laughs> <didn't you? laughs> I'm not talking you about it. You fucking asshole. <laughs> well, yeah. What about that scrapbook I made for you? It is swimming with the fishes. Oh, <laughs> fucking. You know what? You're going to use that as an excuse. You probably burnt it years ago, and you're going to say Sandy fucked it up, aren't you? Well, that's now everything. Like, anything you lose, <laughs> anything it's like, I gone. guess Sandy. Sandy got it. Yeah, I guess it was Sandy. <laughs> that was, I had a whole bunch of work papers yeah. that I just didn't do. <laughs> I was like, I'm fucking Sandy got him. <laughs> or like you can invite a chick over and be like, you know, I used to have like this amazing furniture, but Sandy. Fucking Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shithole I live in now because of Sandy. Fuck. I used to be really good in bed. Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> San- oh, well, yeah. oh, you want to use a condom? Sandy got them all. Sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to raw dog it tonight. <laughs> I hate Sandy so much. <laughs> Fucking hate, hate, hate. Fuck you. And if anyone names their kids Sandy <laughs> within the next 20 years, you're an asshole. <laughs> Kill everybody right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Sandy. someone who gave birth during the storm named their kids Sandy. What the fuck? I know. Sandy. And you know people that conceived during the storm are going to name their kids Ugh, Sandy. That's like the first name I would cross off the list. Ugh. All right, one more question, then we're fucking out. If you conceive during Sandy, you're going to have a demon seed. <laughs> <laughs> demon seed. A red-haired devil. <laughs> Everyone breathe. Let's focus. We're going to try and help our listeners. Don't attack the screen. Just go. Hi, Stacy. Thanks for answering my question on your last episode. Who's this? This is Rose who wanted help on how to talk dirty. Oh, Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember Rose. Since my last question, the dude I've been fooling around with has gone radio silent since our Skype. This is his MO anyway. We've been casually hooking up every few years since high school. Hmm. I'm 34 now, so you can see how long. Anyway, I guess I will have to test our dirty talk on some new dude. Yeah, buddy. Assuming I have the energy to go out and find one, which I don't at the moment. Yeah, you do. Come on. Come on, Rose. Yeah, Rose. You are hot. You can get any guy you want on Skype. Here's her new- Go on that roulette site. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe you'll be that little person with the D notes on there. We were talking about. <laughs> All right. New question. In recent years, I've noticed how men's sexual expectations of most people in general are completely out of whack. I know this has definitely scared me off from dating guys. I've been with five men in my life. I mostly blame the porn industry for putting way too many unrealistic expectations on what actually happens during sex and also parents' lack of explaining sex to their kids. All the anal squirting sp- Bidding and gagging on dicks is just way too much. Instead of an enjoyable and pleasurable act between two people, sex has almost become performance art bordering on a dare. <coughs> Sorry. Oh. Instead <laughs> of <laughs> well placed. Instead of just allowing things to happen naturally, it seems as if people go into the bedroom with this pre made checklist of what they must do. Anal check. Threesomes check. Choking check. Squirting check. I miss the days when just a heated makeout session could be enough. I mean, think about it. People are now dying, autoerotic asphyxiation and accidental choking, and being permanently injured, prolapse, from sex now. Do you think it's gone too far and society needs to dial it back and try to remember what sex used to be? Or am I just too much of a square? Thanks, Rose. I don't think all sex is that crazy, the way she's describing it. I feel I think like... it is in porn. No, I think a lot of men are influenced by it, though. <clears throat> a lot of men are influenced by porn. I do believe and that. And there, there are movements now to educate, have parents talk to their kids about not just sex, but the fact that they're going to watch porn and what they see in porn isn't real. Because hmm. it's true. I didn't learn shit from my parents. Yeah, we know, because you <laughs> basically <laughs> fucking wipe standing up. I so. also d- don't know how... To, I didn't learn how to shave. <laughs> But I do. I think that uh, it is like it's this fantasy world that boys enter and then some of them never get out of it. Like and I also feel like some of these men who become addicted to porn or porn is like their life. And that happens a lot. They go out into the real world and they do. They they compare women to these fucking porn stars who are paid to, you know, swallow loads all day long. And that's not what a real woman is going to do. And it's not even porn. I think some men might meet women who are, who have come into themselves earlier, are comfortable with themselves, and they'll have fucking crazy, like, BDSM sex, and then expect that from their next partner. You can make that argument for any movie, though, because some guys will watch, like, fucking 16 Candles and be like, oh, uh, and compare every woman that they meet to Molly Ringwald, you know, 
Yeah, like, but you're not going to sit there and watch 16 Candles in a loop. Like, mm, that might and, affect... And jerk off. <laughs> you <laughs> might, if you like Molly that a lot. No, but, like, that's really an unstable dude. But, you, but I can see a dude, like, like not, watching a lot of porn. Not knowing the difference between fake and, and reality. I mean, it's the same thing. Like, you know, it's a movie. Yeah, but if you're watching porn every single night while you're jerking off, it's going to start affecting... Well, A, boys, what you expect, and B, what gets you off. And kids, eight-year-olds have fucking computers in their room now. Like, boys are watching porn before they're even sexually mm-hmm. mature. So it's, they grow up thinking that's the norm. So let's before say they watch... even encounter a girl. So yeah. you mean they're oversaturated, is what you're saying? Sure. Okay. No, that's not what I don't know what you're saying. I don't know. Oversaturated? Like, like, there's so much of it, it's just... You become like jaded almost. J j jaded. Fucking <laughs> <Like an> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some accompaniment? <laughs> um I like I remember when I first started whacking it, like just seeing a fucking girl in a comic book with a bikini on, I get okay, a boner. But you but that's grew normal. up before internet porn. But that's normal. You said you used no, to No, it's true, and then it's a progression because I remember when I first started finding like naked girls on the internet, it was like this, it was like pictures. but shit wasn't as crazy back then. Like na- like okay, that's what you grew up with. Fine. Now kids are fucking growing up on Pornhub. Imagine the first time you're whacking it, you stumble across a like punishment porn video. Then you're gonna think, oh, girls like to be choked with my dick. Yeah, if you just and right, and then it's like, it oh wow, you know, I really came hard watching that. And then every time you want to yeah. come hard, you watch that. And then it's like. You date a girl and you want her to do that. Okay. So Rose but, brings up a really good point, but at the same time, I think it's also individual. I mean, there are tons of guys out there who aren't into who, that who shit. Browse the passionate section. <laughs> <laughs> or the parody section. No, but who aren't into porn as much. You know, there are guys that are not crazy porn people. I've met people. You're not. I'm not. Superman isn't either. Or, tr- or that don't have to watch it every single day. Like, I like porn every once. I don't have to watch it every day, though. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, every guy I've been with watches porn, but they don't need to watch. Like, right. I've been with, I lived with a guy who watched porn, like, oh, my God. Like, it was like three meals a day, three porn movies a day with him. Like, it was crazy. Yeah. Well, I went to college with those guys. They had to beat off, like, 16 times a day. Mm-hmm. It was almost like and they preferred. had to let you know and be like, ah, I just fucking rubbed the good one out. His roommate Ew. used to bang like jars of Vaseline and peanut butter, and I, I, I hated peanut going butter. Over there. I never thought of peanut butter. There we go. <laughs> some pasta I, and I, peanut I, butter. I, something to try later I, I tonight. I got an unopened jar on there. <laughs> you, got, you got some Jif in there. <laughs> Gross. Now is it the the <laughs> chunky? Nice and smooth or chunky? I yeah. Think it's chunky. chunky. Chunky gives you friction. There chunky you might hurt though. <laughs> <laughs> I might get a rash. <laughs> Don't have a peanut allergy. <laughs> Chunky for your pleasure. <laughs> All right. Well, this was fun. So, well, like, as a parent, <laughs> like, and we got another one to look forward to. <laughs> if you have Yay. an eight, if you have an eight year old boy, don't you have a fucking filter on your like, you know, your internet? No, and shit? parents so, are retarded. Yeah. Well, that's that's, that's the end problem. Of story. Right? That's the fucking problem. I was talking to some thirteen uh, year old girls the other day, and they told me that um, the new thing when you see your boyfriend in the hallways at school, the thing to say. To them is, wait, I'll, wait, sa- wh- I'll send you. Why were you talking to thirteen year old girls? I was at like what a family gathering. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. The that thing to story. say is, I'll send you nudes later. Ew. I'll send you. Oh nudes. yeah, kids are fucking sexting. Send you nudes. When I was in, uh, like middle school, high school, the thing was those fucking jelly bracelets that yeah. would like indicate oh, what sex you gave, acts. Yeah. Right. Or Rainbow you'd snap parties. them. Rain, yeah, you'd wear them parties. all the time and then if you like lost your virginity you'd like snap them. Mm-hmm. It's fucked up. See, rainbow not, parties. I, I remember that. I remember yeah. Rainbow parties. Or no the girl that for us I think our generation it was the lipstick. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They, uh, girls would wear you would try to get the rainbow cock. Yeah. Like the, each girl would have a different. Uh, ew. Oh, I never did that. I never partook in that. And then you'd wear the bracelets. Right. Like the girls would wear the bracelets to indicate that they really? were part of that rainbow party. In my generation, it was the size of the hoop in your skirt. Right. <laughs> and, and how you churn the butter. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, we have a sh- another show to tape in the Amish country. I think we're going to turn that's off the why, lights. That's for why Jeff my for this kids one. are locked up in a basement right now, and they will never. Interact with other people. And they people. will always wipe standing up. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> taught them, I taught them how to wipe standing up. <laughs> uh, fucking future's doomed. <laughs> <laughs>
Goodbye. All right. So hang in there, people. And, uh, you know, think of us when you're Uh-oh, playing don't. your Are games and oh. you're watching your TV and you're enjoying your heat. Just a dollar. A dollar helps. <laughs> A dollar. A dollar can feed a starving <laughs> while you suck it better. <laughs> Two cents a day. People. Okay, but if, even if you don't want to donate, go leave us a review on iTunes. Oh, I got better, 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 better. When you're buying all your Christmas shit, buy it through our site Amazon. and go to Amazon. On Fucking you buy all better. your Christmas shit. Right. Right. And also, just so you guys know, coming soon, we're going to have a whole new photo shoot a whole new yeah, layout with a great photographer yes. stickers mm. business cards and we're going to be giving away prizes really <gasps> are we doing that yeah and what? you're supposed to be working on the merchandise you lazy fuck oh sorry i <laughs> haven't, haven't been fucking living in my parents house <laughs> for the past month <laughs> honey what are you doing i'm just doing some <laughs> cock rings for while you suck in bed <laughs> oh can we have those <laughs> You know what's even worse is that I'm in my o- my old room when I was growing up, except as soon as I moved out of the house, my brother moved into that room because it was a bigger room. Mm. And my brother's a fucking slob. Mm. And when I just came back, he moved out. He moved out a while ago. He lives in Brooklyn now. And half his shit is still there. <laughs> Pick up your fucking shit. Here we go. Why? Here we go. Do I have no room? You to bring put- out the John Amal. <laughs> <laughs> There's no room from like, I have no clothes because it all got flooded. But the clo- the little clothes that I do have, I can't even fit in this room because his shit is still in it. Okay, save the rent for the next episode. <sighs> well, I got a lot to say. So, so next we- episode, let's talk more about our family. I'm going to slip my wrists. Really- wrists from wrist up to my fucking elbow. I'm not going to fuck around. I'll do it. Let's all just kill ourselves in the street. Can we can we record (laughs) this like (laughs) ritual suicide? Live tweet the suicide. Let's go. (laughs) Okay. So until next time, motherfuckers. Peace out.